Let's bring in Yuri Levchenko. He's the leader of the Ukrainian People's Power Party and a former member of the Ukrainian Parliament. Good to have you back with us, Yuri. Can I start with this issue of Thanks, Ukraine's buddy. grain exports? We know that uh, Zelensky says some 22 million tonnes of Ukrainian grain remain trapped inside the country because of Russia's blockade of uh, the Black Sea. And we also know that Ukraine is a vital source of such grains for a, a, a large part of the world, particularly in developing nations. How important is it that Russia uh, release this grain and uh, end their blockade of these ports? Well, it's extremely important. Obviously, it's extremely important globally speaking, and not just for Ukraine, not just for us, uh, for our income and for our budget, but it's important for millions and millions of people around the world, which are reliant and have been reliant for years on Ukrainian grains, on Ukrainian food exports. And obviously, uh, Russia, by its through its uh, absolutely brutal, illegal, unjust, uh, um, and barbaric war uh, against us, uh, is holding uh, in hostage not just our population, not just killing our people, but now it's uh, uh, now it's also basically killing and leading to the hunger of uh, millions and millions of people around the world. Uh, and the international community uh, has to call call this what it is. Uh, you know, it's uh, I think it's uh, high time we stop using euphemisms and uh, uh, say that Russia is a totally barbaric. Uh, bordering on Nazi regime, which doesn't care about any, anyone or anything else in the world apart uh, of its own uh, Kremlin interests, which are, by the way, uh, where, where against the interests of the Russian people themselves as well, if you're talking about economic interests. And uh, they're just imperialist, uh, crazy stuff. And so um, the world has to realize this and it has to help Ukraine uh, export its grains. Uh, of course, this is important for our budget. It's important for us to be able to function as a country. And that's the that's the reason for that, and that's that's the reason why Russia isn't allowing these exports uh, to happen. That's why Russia is giving conditions, preconditions that they will only allow these exports to happen if uh, Ukraine uh, gives some sort of concessions, uh, if the West gives concessions in terms of um, sanctions against Russia. Uh, so this is obvious, but uh, I, I'm sure that uh, the international community has to see what it, uh, see this for what it is and stop uh, giving into Russia. Uh, meanwhile, recently declassified U.S. intelligence suggests that Russia is now looking to Iran to possibly supply it with hundreds of drones in its war in Ukraine. Uh, what do you make of this development? What sort of impact will this have on the ongoing conflict in your country? Well, uh, I personally do not believe that this will have a great impact uh, on the front in terms of uh, uh, Russia's ability to increase its operations. Uh, we ha I have to remind our viewers that Russia uh, used uh, foreign help before, or at least talked about using foreign help before. For example, uh, they kept on uh, saying that they were going to use thousands and thousands of Syrian mercenaries uh, to help them win uh, the war that didn't help that didn't help them. I mean, they used some of them, but they didn't really change the situation in front dramatically uh, to their favor. Uh, and uh, they, they have approached other countries, for example, China, and asked them for uh, help in terms of armaments, but this, this help didn't come. Uh, and when we're talking about drones from Iran, uh, well, uh, you know, uh, in terms of the, uh, let's say, the technological parity, I mean, the weapons that Ukraine is getting uh, from uh, the West currently are far more, more advanced and far more important than anything Iran can provide Russia, uh, even if it provides as much of them as, as, as it says. Uh, I mean, the main thing is, is for the West to keep on helping Ukraine and give us uh, more weapons and give them uh, quicker. Because, for example, if you're talking about uh, uh, the U.S. multiple uh, rocket, uh, rocket launch systems, uh, the HIMARS systems, and the similar systems which were given to us by uh, Great Britain and which were promised to us by uh, Germany but not yet delivered, uh, these systems are clearly having an impact on the front already, as we speak. Uh, uh, over the past couple of days, uh, our army has uh, 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 made uh, lots of very successful operations uh, against uh, Russian uh, armament depots uh, and uh, various other bases used for, for their efforts on the front, and these bases were destroyed. Uh, lots of our, their armaments were destroyed, uh, mainly due to the fact that we were, be able, we were able to use these HIMARS American systems uh, very effectively. So if we had not just a couple of them, I mean, currently we just, it's less than 10 that we have. If we had like tens of them, uh, preferably even more, a uh, hundred and more, then, of course, the situation on the front would drastically change yeah. in, in our favor. And this is the most important thing.
Okay, Yuri Levchenko, we will have to leave it there, but we really appreciate Thanks your thoughts as always. Thank you.